Fairfax Mars in another uh, episode of How Kooky Can Liberals Get. The Star Trek Discovery is pasting us, Trump supporters, uh, people who support Trump, as Klingons. Star Trek Discovery will continue the venerated sci-fi tradition of using a fantastic setting to tackle real-world issues only in a bigger way than the Trek series has done before. In other words, it's politics. Now, uh, it's not science fiction. This is the thing. Upcoming CBS All Access drama tells a serialized story of war between the United Federation of Planets and the Klingon Empire. The show was set a decade before the 1966 original series, which premiered 51 years ago today, during which the Federation of Klingons were in the Cold War standoff and reflected yesterday's, yesterday's U.S.-Soviet relations. The Discovery War breaks out. The Klingons leading charge has some ideological ideas inspired by 2016 electoral divide. Unreal. The allegory is that when we really start working on a show in the nurse around the time the election was happening, showrunner Aaron Harvard said, the Klingons are going to help us look at help us really look at certain sides of ourselves and our country. Isolationism is a big theme. Racial purity is a big theme. Klingons are not an enemy, but they have a different view on things. It raises big questions. Should we let people in? Do we want to change? It's always the question of just because you reach out your hand to somebody, do they have to take it? Sometimes, they don't want to take it. It's been interesting to see how the times have become more of a mirror than we even thought we were going to be. Uh, Mr. Harvard, sir, why don't you make your series for uh, entertainment? I, I'm going to tell you right now, my Mars Station, my Mars Station series. And a lot of people aren't going to like hearing this. Too bad. My Mars Station series is made for white, heterosexual, male entertainment. Everybody can watch it, but that's what it's made for. Too bad. I'm not getting paid to do anything, so I can do whatever I want. While such topics have been explored across six Star Trek six previous series and seven honored episodes before the serialized nature of Discovery 15 episode day three season loss for grand depth of storytelling. What storytelling? You're just doing politics. The thing about war is that it's takes Starfleet and the Federation forces on Examine their ideas and ethical rules of conflict and conduct. There's little ethics in war, Mr. Harberts. Harbert says it provides backdrops how we want to be as a society and that analysis and self reflection is new first track. They've done it in certain episodes in the past with its true journey in the, into the institution itself. In times of stress and conflict, it can bring out best and worst of us, adds fellow showrunner Gretchen J. Berg, but ultimately brings out best and worst of lead officers. Yeah, for crying out loud. This is why I'm so fed up with Hollywood. There's no entertainment anymore. There's no imagination. This is pure politics. This is not science fiction. It's just politics. And here they admitted. They admitted. I think this is liberal. Trump's Trump people are bad guys. And these leftists running 
whatever uh, Starship Discovery are the good guys. So we're the Klingons and they're the Federation. Unbelievable. Mr. Harvard's Sir and uh, Gretchen, whatever your name is, Gretchen Berg. You can get bent as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you want to see a show that's designed for white heterosexual male entertainment, uh, for science fiction horror lovers, Mars Station. I don't have any uh, big you know, studio. I don't have any studio or anything. It's all computer based. And it's all animated with Second Life, but you'll get entertainment. You get a show that's designed for entertainment, not for politics. It's up to you. I get like four or five views in an episode. So I'm doing this as a hobby. But there isn't any politics. There's no political correctness. Shows do not reflect today's modern life. And I'm having a ball making episodes up to you. You can watch something like this, which is pure politics, leftist politics, of course. Or you can watch something like Mars Station. You won't find anything else like it on the internet. Not to plug my own stuff, but I'm shamelessly plugging my own stuff. I want to thank you, Mars. Thanks for watching. Oh, wow. And before I go, since I'm plugging my own stuff shamelessly, let me say that episode 10, which is probably going to be a two hour movie, is underway, and there's going to be lots and lots of vampire bites. And they're not five second vampire bites either, they're real good. You're going to have fun. I, if you're a heterosexual male and you love this type of thing, you're going to have fun. I guarantee it. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.